Welcome to the tutorial on royalty-free music for health and fitness professionals. My name is Tyler Valencia and I'm the president of KIPPS and Time to Train Fitness as well as your Balance Ambassador. Now, who is this for? If you saw the title, you're probably thinking, oh, this is mostly for fitness professionals, but if maybe you are a health wellness coach that maybe you're doing a podcast or maybe you're creating social media content and you need royalty-free music. Maybe you've been putting out content and you've been seeing it getting flagged for content that you don't own, the music, and you want to fix that. You want to make sure that whatever you're creating gets out there and then it's reaching the maximum amount of people for the work that you're putting in it. If we're creating content, social media content, content for YouTube, we want to make sure that it gets the most out of it. The time we put into it, it gets out there. So it can be for health, wellness, and fitness professionals that are also doing online workouts. This is going to be a great one for you to tune into and listen to. Now, the second individual that might be interested in this tutorial review might be a fitness professional that is looking to switch. Now, for myself, I went on this journey maybe about a year ago looking for royalty-free music. I had been in the fitness, online workout, royalty-free music space that are just for those individuals. And to be honest, I found myself kind of confined in that space. So I went out looking and with asking around to other individuals that were doing online workouts, I came across the one I'm gonna talk about, Epidemic Sound. And just talking about it and just thinking about it right now when I made that switch, it's almost night and day. The pricing, and we're gonna talk about all the different things with it, the pricing is great, the content selection is great, and so if you're looking to switch, this is gonna be the tutorial review for you. Before we jump into the pros of Epidemic Sound, I'm gonna give a little bit of experience. I briefly talked about it, but I also own a company called Time to Train Fitness that does online workouts for YouTube. So music, royalty free music is a must for it. You wanna make sure that's an easy process. And so when I talk about 2020, trying to figure out royalty free music, I'm sure anybody that was in there was thinking, oh man, it was such a pain. It was hard to figure it out. And things like Epidemic Sound make it so much easier. So we're gonna talk about the benefits and hopefully inspire you to take that leap to maybe try the free trial, a 30 day trial. The first benefit I'm gonna to touch on is pricing. Now this is a big one. If you are in the health, wellness, fitness space, you know that pricing can be big. It can be actually a huge investment for you. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that Epidemic Sound, and I'm not gonna talk about the other ones that I looked at, but it generally is about half the cost of other ones, especially especially if you're in that fitness, royalty-free music space, it's half of the cost and better selection in my opinion. So the fact that right there, half the cost, and you could also scale up. If you are a bigger business, maybe you're a studio, a yoga studio, or a, a boutique gym, and you want and you have bigger spaces, more needs for it, you could scale up for it. But a pricing, it, it scales up with different uh, varieties, so that will be definitely something to check out if you're interested in it. Selection is number two we're gonna talk about, and that's a big one. When we switched over to Epidemic Sound, the selection was the biggest thing I noticed. With some of the other providers out there, I found that we were using a lot of the same playlists and we weren't even sure. We'd be on their apps and trying to figure it out and weren't sure what to utilize. With Epidemic Sound, when you're on there, you know that all of it's at play. And there's such a huge selection, R&B, instrumental, uh, EDM music, rock music, country, so many options out there that you find yourself thinking, wow, like why didn't I figure find this out before, figure this out before? So selection is fantastic. The next one I'm gonna talk about is ease of use. Ease of use is important. It, most fitness, health professionals, we're not, uh, IT professionals, we're not the greatest with computers. And so something that's easy to use is important. We wanna make sure that that's the time that we have dedicate, dedicated to making a playlist or setting up an account. It's easy. First piece I wanna to touch on with ease of use is with just starting. When I started out, I started out with a trial and through the startup process, you enter in all your accounts, your YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And with that, 
After you press the trial button at the end, you enter your information, boom, that's it. It's that easy. You won't have to really worry about getting flagged on anything. And I'm gonna use a story right here to throw in. When we actually did get flagged for something once, literally woke up in the morning to an email saying that there was a claim on one of the videos. And almost 30 minutes later, just looking at the timeline in my emails, it was already fixed by Epidemic Sound. That is, I didn't have to submit anything. I didn't have to prove anything. They fixed it by itself. That easy. And so that is one of the big stories that I wanted to share in this tutorial about how easy it is to use with making playlists as well. When you're listening to songs, you just press the play button, you listen, okay, do I like it? And then on the right hand side, there would be a button to add it to a place. You can make as many playlists as you want, add your songs, move them around. Super easy to utilize that way. Now, the only negative that I have to share, and I actually have a fix for it for you, two different fixes, was with the in terms of using it on your phone and maybe if you're a cycling instructor. So this might just be that one specific type of instructor out there, a fitness instructor, but we, I have an instructor that was using it and they noticed that their phone would close or the app would turn blank after about 30 minutes of having it open. Now, if you are a cycling instructor, you wanna watch that timeline so you can play when the beat drops or when the music picks up and it helps you also know when the song ends for drills. So this instructor notices right off the bat and they don't always wanna to be touching their phone during the workout, the film, the workout. And so an idea that they came up with was to actually use their computer. So that's one fix right there. That you, you just have to use your computer and then you can watch the timeline of this song. And that just talking about the app right there. Uh, another solution for this negative, and I put quotes around it because in my mind, it's not that big of a negative. Uh, and for me personally, I don't have to look at the song to see when it changes. The music is just there when I teach online workouts. But another solution for this is that you could actually use Spotify. You can create a, a, a playlist in Spotify with these songs. A lot of the artists, all the artists that you're gonna find on Epidemic, Epidemic Sound are on Spotify. You can add them to there and then that creates that blending effect right there that when it transitions in the playlist. And this was actually a tip that I found out about and have tested from one of our recent guests on the Balance Podcast, Joe Alvarado. He brought this up in that episode. I can link that at the end for you to listen to. Great podcast to listen to with him in it. He does cycling workouts and he shared that fantastic tip that again, just kind of negates that negative that I talked about in the beginning. So that has kind of been this review and a little bit of background on Epidemic Sound. Don't forget, they have a trial. I would highly recommend, even if you have a subscription already, to go try it out. Put your information in, and it's a 30-day trial for free, and you could see if it works with your workflow. You could try all the things of your normal business and see if it works well with it. But check and try all the things that I mentioned already and see if it'll fit, because if the pricing fits, if the ease of use fits, and if they got a great selection, in my, my mind, it's a no brainer. I hope this episode has been useful for you. Hopefully it gives you an option to utilize with your health, wellness, fitness business. Until the next time, keep working, keep grinding, keep working on all that great content you're making, and I'll see you in the next one.